Hi guys, hi Andre, hi Walter, hi Edmonds. Andre and nice to see you again. So you're participating in all of the land security events. That's uh, a success. You're like an, a great early adapter. I remember you had some uh, good questions uh, previously as well. So uh, today we're having uh, an official launch of our pro agricultural projects. We, we have published three of them. So we will make a case study. I will show all of them. We, we can uh, go through the information about the borrower, the, the collateral, and I will also make a screen share so you can see what am I doing, what am I showing you. And uh, if you have some questions, just write them on Facebook or in Zoom. Uh, I, I always like when it's more of a live communication and, and they see that what am, what am I saying you is, is of interest and we have a, a discussion. So to a little warm up, uh, so the previous, in the previous uh, video, I have uh, discussed uh, a lot about the product and, and uh, all of its benefits. We discussed the market, so the, the benefits uh, against the payday loans. Uh, uh, agriculture actually performs much better in, in COVID than payday lending and, and uh, uh, car lo loans and business loans because agriculture was almost unimpacted by by COVID. So we saw that on our uh, on our portfolio performance and, and we see this as a per perspective niche for, for investors and it's also a great opportunity to diversify your portfolio by adding some agricultural loans. Uh, they, they will be short term with, with 12 APR, which is uh, a competitive interest rate to earn on the crowdfunding market. Uh -huh. I see that Andre is connecting audio, but okay. So let's wait a couple of more minutes and then I'll start my screen sharing. Uh, we will go through the projects. Maybe someone can type something in the comments or in the chat so I can see that everything is working and you hear me well. And then we might start presenting the loans itself. Okay, hi guys. Thanks for being here today. So I think I'll go uh, to the screen share. I'm doing it kind of uh, in a hard way. So I'm making a screen share on Zoom and it is connected with Facebook. I hope it works well. So now you should be able to see my screen. So today, so I'll, firstly, I will show you the landing page for loans. So you just go to the Land Security EU and sorry, I need to log out. So you go here, you hear the sign up new. Uh, here we have agricultural projects. You go inside and here we have the brand new landing page. Here you see um, the, how it works. Uh, 
uh, diagram. So we created a diagram which is movable, then you can see how, how everything works. So you as an investor are investing uh, your money in a short term to land secured. Uh, later, we are issuing a loan to the farmer. The farmer grows the harvest and later on he sells it to the grain buyer. Uh, grain buying companies are large companies which are which we have with uh, freeway agreement. So later on the grain buyer pays us firstly by repaying the loan and we pay back to the investor. So you can check it later and, and if something is, is not understandable, you can type a question in chat. So the second thing we have here is market analysis PDF. So by clicking it, it will open in a separate window and I will not go in depth to the numbers, but for the people who like uh, data, you can uh, read the description. We have made a in-depth uh, analysis of agricultural sector in Europe. Uh, you have all the links here, you can click on them and they will uh, show you the source of information. It is not made up, it's all based on uh, real data. So just fastly scrolling what we have here. So the product, the diagram, uh, all the bonuses. So we actually have all our crop insured. Uh, we're working uh, with companies like uh, Vienna, Compensa, BTA, Bata Insurance, and the crop is actually insured up to, not up to, but uh, for 92% of a harvest. So if there's some harvest lost uh, because of some natural disasters or some weather conditions, 92% uh, are insured. So if we are issuing a loan, which is only 50 LTV, so we are more than secured. The second thing which we are signing is freeway agreement, uh, which uh, give us the first hand of receiving the profits from the harvest. So when the farmer, when the farmer sells the grain to the grain buyer, we are the first one in line to receive the money and only the remaining part only later goes to the to the farmer back like it's not shown here but so we are the first one receiving the money interest plus plus principal also we take personal guarantee from all the farmers which is also important in in case of possible debt collection we can uh, pursue the personal assets uh, also all the farmers do not not have only grains they have um, other assets like land, machinery, uh, buildings, etc. So if a grain is only 50% LTV, including the personal guarantee and additional assets, it gets even more secure, plus the insurance. We try to cover all the possible uh, ways of, of possible losses to protect the investor's money. So what do you have here? more like the countries which which are mostly affected uh, which do not have access to finance from banks to to agricultural here are the numbers etc you can just we will not go into details in this but the need for funding in agriculture agriculture is very big so our mission is to provide this liquidity and to give the opportunity to investors safely earn the interest so let's go further. So we have the free project published today. We tried to publish the smaller amounts just uh, for uh, to fast to to fund them faster, uh, to not experience the cash drag for investors. We have a much much bigger uh, uh, checks in our portfolio in in our pipeline. The farmers are waiting uh, for funding. We have checks up to. 100,000, which we will publish uh, later if, if there will be a big interest from, from investors. So uh, we can see the pledge. So it is in this case, it's wheat. Here it's biological oats. So it means that this farm is 100% biologically. 
so it, it, it is certified in, and it's, it is not using pesticides, which, which is a trend in the Central Europe. It's important for some investors, we know it, and we wanted uh, to highlight that it is biological, not the standard wheat. So the terms are quite short, as you see, eight, eight and seven months annual return. So this is annual and you earn uh, eight, eight percent uh, for this term, not 12. Uh, this is the volume of wheat. It's, it's uh, amount is in tons. So yeah, here we have all the benefits once again, all the guarantees, etc. Here are some questions. You might have and here are the partners. Uh, this is a big, big uh, grain buying company which we are working with. This one as well. This is certified evaluators. We have some more partners. They are not published here, but uh, maybe it's not of such importance. So let's go check the projects. Uh, so the first one we have is uh, wheat ZS Isopus one. The amount if is around 5,000, the term is short, interest rate is 12. Here you have the description of the farm. So he is, here is the number of registration. Here is the address. Uh, our policy is a full transparency. So you, this is a real data for, for a borrower. You can check this online, you know the registers. Uh, and it's accessible for everyone. So what else? So this guy is using the farmer, using the money for working capital until the harvest. So until he sells the, the crop. He has an experience of 30 years. So as I already many times mentioned, uh, agriculture is uh, also SME, but it's a different type of SME because uh, uh, the farmers usually are like family business and they are more like reliable and, and respectable than, than basic SMEs. It's, so it's less risky and the people are more disciplined and so they are actually better payers, which is quite important. So yes, all of the farmers are also receiving European agricultural subsidies. Uh, it's actually quite quite uh, quite a big amount it depends on several uh, points is it biological uh, farm or, or what what does it do how, how big is the farm etc so we do not specify the, the exact amount here but uh, it actually helps a lot to to pay on schedule for the farmer So the total harvest will be bigger. So, ah, sorry, this is the approximate price for the ton. So if we multiply 60 tons with this price, we receive the collateral value, which is described here. So collateral pipe is grain, LTV is LTV. You can check the description. And we have a personal guarantee from the farmer, which is Davis Goost in this occasion. So here is the data just separately on the butter, on the collateral uh, and uh, other, other stuff. So what I'm trying to find is, I want to show you uh, how is this price formed that, did, that we didn't uh, just uh, uh, made it up. So it's a real price in the market. Uh, so we can just Google it, Matif. Uh, So there is Euronext stock exchange. You can find it yourself and you can see all the prices here. So this is the bid and the ask for the price for the March. So for example, if you are trying, to, if you want to sell your harvest in September, you will get this price. If you want to sell it in December, you get this price. So this is written in the contract. So here we have 190 uh, euro per ton and this is a fixed price so it will not change the, the freeway agreement is signed so we know the exact price of collateral and uh, it is not like uh, with real estates uh, you have the, the evaluation but it, it may be not so liquid and so on this is very liquid assets that's why we like it and we see a big potential in it because uh, the price is similar for all of the countries in Europe 
So, for example, in Czech Republic or in Bulgaria or in Latvia, the price will be uh, the same. So, we, you do not, as an investor, you do not need some in-depth uh, market experience, uh, like on real estate, for example. You might know the real estate market uh, in Spain, but you don't know it in Latvia. So, for you, it's not obvious uh, is it a good place or is it a good asset or not. But here is it is pretty pretty uh, transparent and understandable. So, what else? So I think we can go to the next project, which was biological old. So amount is also not very big, but this is made on purpose. So the first one will be smaller. Uh, here, the LTV is uh, 39, so below 40%. Interest rate is 12%. Uh, so the price here is higher because it's not a wheat, but it's uh, old and it's biological. It's a little bit different. Uh, here is the size of the volume of harvest. So here you have the schedule, uh, the loan is a bullet. So you receive monthly interest uh, and the principal at the end of the season. So we also prognose that the farmers will use it uh, on several occasions. So they will finish the season and they will get, go back to us for, for another round of funding next year. So recurring, recurring borrowers we will have in the future. So here it's quite similar to the previous loan. Investment breakdown will, will show the investments made in the loan. And you can leave also the comments if you wish or questions to ask and we will answer them. So the last loan is the smallest one, only 2000 for seven months. So quite short and quite low LTV as well, of course, only 25%. So one more thing I would like to add, which is not shown here, uh, that all of the loans are also secured by our new feature, which is called uh, funding guarantee so that I, it is actually uh, you can see it in the real estate loans so you can see it here on this house so for example if this loan will not be funded by retail investors we have an anchor anchor investor who will add the remaining amount so you don't have the risk that uh, in the 12 remaining days, we will not get uh, the, the amount and the project will not start. This cannot happen because we have this 100% uh, funding guarantee. Here is a description. And it is the same for agricultural loans as well. So I, we will actually add it uh, later here, this funding guarantee. So you can uh, be sure that if you invest today, for example, this loan, uh, it will be co-invested in the end by our anchor guarantee, for example, if we will not able to, to acquire this amount. I'm all, almost sure that we will be able to acquire it because it's uh, very small and we do not have a problem to acquire this amount of funding already. But still, it's, it's nice, to know, nice to know that there is a guarantee. So now I will stop screen sharing for a moment. I'll just check. Maybe we have some questions and we can have a small discussion and maybe go back to screen share later if we need to see something else. So we have a question in Zoom. Why is interest so high? 12% and uh, 30 plus LTV. So, uh, the interest rate is uh, actually a market interest rate. So we made uh, an analysis. Uh, what are the what is the market price for money for the farmers in uh, in in the Baltics? So twelve percent is uh, a market rate for farmers. 
and uh, you need to also to understand that he is the farmer is uh, borrowing only a small part of the total total harvest for example if uh, uh, we have a collateral of 100 tons of wheat that doesn't mean that he is growing only 100 tons of wheat for example he might grow uh, even 1,000 tons of wheat, but he just wants to collateralize only 10% uh, of, of, of his future harvest. So, and he's borrowing only half of 100 tons of wheat, so only 50,000 only 50, wheat. So it's actually a very small part of his all uh, like uh, future incomes. So, so uh, they're able to pay and, and it's, it's, it's reasonable price for them. So I hope I have answered your question. So let's check Facebook. So actually no questions on Facebook. That's a pity. I was hoping for a more active discussion. So guys, maybe some questions, maybe something was not covered, maybe something was not understandable, maybe I can repeat something. So I think that's all from my side. I have shown all three projects. Uh, now you can find them on the landing page. Uh, if you have questions, you can write uh, on our Telegram channel, Land Secured, or you can write us on Facebook, or you can write to our support email. And uh, I want to mention once again that there is a cashback uh, campaign active by using promo code uh, 1st of March. So I'll type it in chat. Uh, you will have 1% cashback for agricultural loans. Oh, I see some new questions in Zoom. So yeah, the second question, how many loans do you expect in 2021? Uh, Walter, uh, actually we have uh, quite a huge pipeline for agricultural products. We have almost uh, 2 million of loans in our pipeline. Uh, we're actually not hoping to cover it only by retail investors. We, uh, as maybe you know, that Land Secured is not a startup. It is a part of a bigger financial group. So we have uh, funding partners like uh, banks and high net worth individuals and uh, they have interest in this product. So uh, I think most of the funding will come from them, but it's also a great opportunity to, for, for, for retail investors to diversify their portfolio, to add something new, which is not payday loans or real estate development. Also regarding the plants, we have them in the market review on the last page. Sorry, not the last page. But the page number five. Oh, sorry, no, it's not there. It's in another presentation. But yes, so we have a pipeline of 2 million euro loans only in Baltics. So we are not uh, actually looking further, but still the market is much, much bigger. There's many countries which uh, suffer from underfinancing so the next question from Edmund, so what's the procedure if farmer defaults? So the procedure is, uh, is quite, quite uh, straightforward. So as uh, the same as in real estate lending uh, in which we have like 10 years experience, 
we have an in-house debt collection uh, team. So firstly, of course, we will connect the, the borrower. We will uh, start the discussion, discussion why it happened in, in such a way. So new question and trying to read an answer at the same time. So finishing the question about the uh, debt collection. So firstly, we try, try, of course, a discussion. We try to understand why it happens so. so uh it's actually quite to imagine now how can it happen because we have uh insurance crop insurance so there is not possible the loss because of the natural causes so uh the price if the price of of the crop goes down it, it should go at least uh twice lower but it's not uh, it was not seen previously historically that the price uh would have dropped for more than 20 percent and uh for example, if there is uh, like uh, some 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 uh, like criminal cases that the farmer is trying to to not to pay, if he's trying to to evade the paying of the loan, so we go directly to, to court. We uh, issue the, uh, all the legal documents to the courts. We we made it in house, as I told before and also go to the police and we start a criminal case on, on this matter and uh, in the sooner time we will start uh, uh, we will start selling the, the assets of the farmers so so if it's of course if it's in the with, with evil purposes if he's trying to evade the pain pain can only with in this manner but of course if if uh, something happens uh, like a force majeure, we need to understand that the harvest is reoccurring. So the next year, the farmer will have a harvest once once more again, and maybe it's uh, smarter to consider to postpone the, the principal repayment to the next year, or maybe to refinance this loan, or maybe restructure it partly, maybe just uh, by paying half of the principal this year plus interest and leaving the second half for the next year. But but we will see the situation and we will go in depth and find the best solution. So Andre, question about the investors. Projects uh, are not quick funded, probably because of lack of investors. How do you solve this? Uh, Andre, uh, uh, as I stated previously, retail investors field is not very active now, but uh, for us it's not a problem because we are working with high net worth individuals and they will co-finance the project and there is no 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 problem and no need to worry about the funding speed also if you don't want to wait for the funding period you can buy the loans on the secondary market so you can buy them directly from the anchor investor and you will start earning interest from the day one and this is also a great solution for for our investors which which are afraid of of cash drag so but if you want to go deeper talking about the, our marketing marketing activities so i already told this in the previous uh, video live videos that we're uh, working now with uh, pr uh, agency which is uh, um, uh, making branding for unsecured for the new projects uh, products which is agricultural loans we're also have in our pipeline like five uh, potential aggregators which are in need of, of good projects and and we could concentrate more of producing the projects and not for for attracting investors because during the COVID time actually we see in the industry that there is a drop of retail investors on all of the platforms uh, i think it will change in the future but now we just go forward we develop uh, our products we fund them with uh, a mixed capital and uh, in the future uh, I, I think it, it will remain the same type we will mix the capital and uh, it's also much more cost effective because the actual price for such products in banks is around eight apr and it's only makes uh, makes uh, it makes sense uh, only by mixing the capital. So we also actually see this in Europe, in French platforms. Uh, I don't want to say the names, but they're doing this thing. So they're borrowing up to 90% of uh, funding amount in a bank. 
uh, in France. And uh, for example, they need 10% co-financing co uh, and, they, and they just uh, publish this 10% parts of the loan on the marketplace for retail funding. So I actually think this is uh, the type of uh, capital structure which will be very popular and uh, which will be used a lot in the crowd lending. Because we see more and more uh, institutional money in the in the crowd lending and peer to peer. So I hope I have answered your question. Of course, we're doing all the standard things like uh, talking with bloggers and and affiliates and and other stuff, but it's just not uh, cost effective now. So we are just trying to publish great projects for you and provide great interest rates and uh, give you something new which is not seen on other platforms and i can assure you that the performance also will be great and uh, in the future it will be even more popular so it's really hard for me to check all of the chats so now i'm checking the facebook chat do you expect more loans this year, Robert, where we have in our pipeline, pipeline 2 million uh, amount of contracts for the grain uh, product. So it actually dependent on retail investor interest for the product. So we have more than enough products, projects uh, and loans to publish for you guys. So the question for, from Lessie. Will, will there be more loans in the winter spring? I guess the need for capital is biggest before the beginning of the season. Yes, you're right. The biggest uh, uh, interest for from farmers for capital is at spring, so actually in April. So we already have contacted several farmers which are saying that they don't need money exactly now, but they will need it in the nearest future. So as I said before, the projects will be more than enough and we will fund them using our high net worth investors, but still uh, retail investors can participate and earn great returns. So it is not a problem for you, even not on the long term. Andre, uh, it is totally not a problem for us because we are not a startup, we don't uh, need to uh, generate a huge amount of loans every month just to, to cover our costs. We are a group of financial companies. We have a loan portfolio, which bring us a monthly revenue and uh, land secured is a part of our strategical uh, digit digitalization. So we try to digitalize and uh, we also already now see some benefits for, for our main business because we are managed to connect uh, to some guys in Switzerland, for example, which are doing some interesting stuff with, with the loans. They're like packing them and selling them to the institutional investors. So it's hard to describe it in, in a couple of sentences, but, but Land Secured can, can, can develop slowly and it, we do not have a problem to, to cover costs and we can just look long term without any worries. So I think I have answered all the questions. So maybe something else. So guys, uh, maybe you can share what is uh, the most important thing in such loans, or maybe you have some uncertainties or maybe some doubts about this product. Uh, you can share and we can discuss it. Maybe some risks you see here.
Success with the platform and thanks for the presentation info. Yeah, Andre, nice to see you again and great questions once again. Thank you and see you later on Telegram or on another live discussion. So I think we will end for today. Um, great questions. I hope that it was interesting for you and you uh, heard something new. And still, if you uh, have some more questions, you can ask us, find us on Telegram and uh, write for to our supports and write to me directly on Facebook, LinkedIn, or everywhere, anywhere else you can find me or our other team members. Thank you. and. Goodbye, great investments to everyone.